hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c minus 7 divided by 7 minus c is equals to 1 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of the given equation and which of the roots are extraneous root also at the end i can explain the term extraneous root so please watch this video at the end further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section so in the first method you need to focus into the right hand side and in the right hand side we have the denominator of this term is 1 uh, so now we cross multiply the terms so when you cross multiply the term this means that we multiply 1 with this value and it will be written as 1 multiplied by c minus 7 is equals to 1 multiplied by 7 minus c so in the next step we have 1 times of this term is equals to c minus 7 and 1 time of this term is equals to 7 minus c and in the next step we need uh, to copy down the variable terms into the left hand side and it will become this is minus c and here it becomes plus c this is minus 7 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 7 and now we have this is c plus c becomes 2c equals to 7 plus 7 becomes 14 and now for the values of c we divide both of the sides by 2 so when we divide both of the sides by 2 it will becomes this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get the value of c is equals to these are 2 7s of 14 so we get here the value of c is equals to 7 so this is the first root of the given equation which we get here from first method uh, and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this root be the solution of the given equation or is this root be the extraneous root for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is c minus 7 divided by 7 minus c is equals to 1 this is the given question statement and now here we will substitute this value of c into the left hand side and we check the behavior of this equation so that uh, so when you put it here it will becomes 7 minus 7 divided by this is 7 minus again we have the value of c is 7 is equals to 1 or not this is the our claim and now you see here we have 7 minus 7 becomes 0 and this 7 minus 7 is also becomes 0 is equals to 1 uh, so here we conclude about 0 over 0 form is that and usually we will be called uh, 0 over 0 be the uh, indeterminate form okay this is the indeterminate form uh, so if this is indeterminate form this means that our left hand side is uh, undefined so if our left hand side is undefined this means that uh, the value of sc is equals to 7 is not satisfied our given question statement okay so if this is uh, not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call that uh, c is equals to 7 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay it is the extraneous root now i can explain the term extraneous root so the roots which cannot satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root uh, like in this question we have c is equals to 7 be the extraneous root uh, so here uh, we final conclusion about the solution of this problem is that this equation has no solution in general okay but this has extraneous root that is 7 so uh, this is the final answer which we get here from first method now here we again solve this problem uh, for second method so for second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is that c minus 7 divided by 7 minus c is equals to 1 this is our given question statement 
and here uh, in the second method uh, we just uh, do the sharp uh, calculation uh, so here uh, we need to take common negative sign from the numerator so when you take common negative sign it will be written as 7 minus c divided by 7 minus c is equals to 1 so you see here this 7 minus c is cancelled out by this 7 minus c and we get here this is minus 1 is equals to plus 1 and you clearly see that minus 1 is not equals to plus 1 in general so if this is not equals to uh, both of the sides are not equal so this means that we cannot get any value of c in in second method uh, so here we just finally conclude about that uh, this equation has no solution in general because we cannot find any value of c in the second method but in the first method we get uh, the root of c that is uh, c is equal to 7 but c is equal to 7 is not satisfied over given question statement so c is equal to 7 uh, be the extraneous root of the given equation so this equation has no solution this is our final conclusion about that and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos